And now, let's join Michelle as she talks with Martha Galvin about Normandy Farms and its interesting history. Hi, Michelle and Laurie, and we're here in Foxborough, Massachusetts to visit one of the top campgrounds in New England. Let's catch up with Masha Galvin of Normandy Farms Campground. You came on a weekend that we're having a big rally. Um, so there's lots of stuff going on out there, but I'm gonna bump you back a little bit and tell you about the history of Normandy Farms. So um, our ancestors, uh, we're currently on the ninth generation of Daniel's family. So um, we've not always been a campground. Um, it was a farm, a working farm back in 1759 when we had um, our ancestor came over from Normandy, France. He was- Oh, hence the name. Exactly, oh. yep. So, um, and in fact, my grandfather's name is Norman Daniels. So, so a lot of people think Norman D is also for our, my grandfather. So it was oh. kind of a little bit of both. Mm. This place is huge. How many acres does it cover? We have 100 acres. 100 acres? Yes. So it started out with 53 acres. And over the course of years and years, um, we're going to be celebrating 260 years of ownership in 2021. Eventually the farming just kind of went by the wayside back in the 60s. My grandparents were avid campers and there wasn't one in the area. So he thought, well, we can just start a small campground, 25 sites. That's where the, the campground began. 1971 we opened with just um, the White House across the street, the, the pool that's in the backyard, that used to be our childhood pool um, when we were growing up, and that became the first pool of the park. Welcome to Normandy Farms. So this is our registration center, and we do have a gift store, and um, that's this is where folks check in. There's a wide variety of items here that you, the, anything that you need basically when you're camping, mm -hmm. um, sweatshirts, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> bathing suits, you know, things like that, as well as the grocery item. Your level of technology is impressive, which it has to be because you've got a big operation mm -hmm. here. The registration process, you can actually get your, your parking yes. passes and do that all, and just go right on through. Exactly, so we've made it automated so that you can, and it's not that we don't want to talk to you, because we do, but we want to speed up the, your vacation. So you can make reservation online when you pay in full. Just before your, your check-in day, you'll receive an email confirmation with your car pass, barcode. You can go right to the gate and pick up your wristbands for the kids and go right to your site. <laughs> One thing I noticed when we checked in, which mm -hmm. was, I've never heard it before, uh, we were told the water pressure at your yes. sites is, it's good water pressure, so make sure you have a water regulator. Right. We That's ha really great advice. 80 to 100 pound water pressure, you get a great hot shower, yeah. lots of pressure, but you have to be careful of the RV. But it's true, in, in new RVers, don't all we, we didn't, mm -hmm. we didn't have a power a water regulator oh. at first. Mm -hmm. We did it. Yeah. They should build those things into the RV. They should. So we are so centrally located to Boston, Cape Cod, Plymouth, uh, Providence. We're sort of right in the middle. So you could park here for a week and go off into Boston, take the T, which is close by. Mm -hmm. You could drive down to the Cape. So it really is a nice central location. If you didn't even want to go that far, we've got Gillette Stadium and the New England Patriots oh, that right. are just four miles up the, up the street. Yeah. But you know, we've got the Rentham Outlets that are close by mm -hmm. and we have uh, Plain Ridge Casino. So you don't really have to go very far. You can just come and camp out. And if you don't want to leave the campground, you, don't you have, have four pools? We do. We have four swimming pools. We've got a basketball court, two playgrounds, um, two softball fields, volleyball, horseshoes, bocce. I could go on and on. We've hot got hot tub and sauna. Hot tub and sauna, correct. A fitness center. The heated pools, two of them are heated. So we mm -hmm. have the outdoor heated pool and we've got the indoor heated pool. Mm -hmm. That's our recreation lodge. Mm -hmm. So that's where we have all our activities. It's the main hub of the park. So we'll have um, ice cream social like we'll have later on this afternoon. We'll have dances, anything that would go on inside where we can gather a group of people, that's where we go. We have the adult loft if you want to get away from your kids mm -hmm. and um, enjoy some adult time. And the kids loft is on the opposite sides. So we have got the best team members. Top to 140 this season, but we really do value guest service. If you don't have your own RV and you'd like to still come camping, we have cabins, we have yurts, we have safari tents, and we have pop-ups. Um, so you can have a different experience with whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for the glamping experience, go for the cabin and yurt because it is a hotel room inside. Um, air conditioning, heat, um, fireplace, uh, bathroom, uh, everything that you would have. Um, step outside and you can have your campfire. So it's perfect. Really but you know, I do have a secret I want to let you know on. Oh, tell us. Okay. After the break, we'll find out Masha's secret. 
and we'll also catch up with John DePietro and Jason Cole and find out about Halo's Wish. Aquacam Possums, so fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Join Rolling On TV in supporting care camps to ensure that children with cancer can experience the healing power of camping at these special oncology camps. If you've never heard of care camps, now's the time to visit our website and learn all about this great organization and the work they do for these deserving children. Also, stay tuned and see how you can win a specially customized 2021 Forest River Nobo travel trailer with the proceeds going directly to care camps. To learn all about care camps and how you can win this super nobo, visit rollingontv.com. I see all these signs for Halo's Wish. Yes. Tell me about what that organization um, it's a is. 501c3 nonprofit organization yep. uh, where we raise funds th throughout the year and we, we, we grant wishes to children every, children. every fall. We, un we understand that fundraising goes on year round, but how about the most heartwarming story that you can tell us yeah. about the seven years that uh, you've been doing? I have to go back to, to, to our first um, Halo's Wish that we granted. The, uh, this young girl, Kylie, she was su suffering from Stargast disease, which is, a, was a, which is a, an eye disorder for, for juveniles. And after we sent her family to Florida, uh, she has a small class up in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, and she held some bake sales. And, and uh, the following year, she came back to us and donated all her money that she had raised to Halo's Wish so she could pay it forward. Paying it forward. Paying it forward. It, it, it was incredible. And we want to say thank you to Rolling on TV for letting people all over the country know about Halo's Wish. And Jason, uh, how about a website that they can uh, donate to if they want to? First of all, I want to say thank you to Rolling on TV. And if you wish to donate, go to haloswish.org. But you know, I do have a secret I want to let you know on. Oh, tell us. Okay. So we are adding a new type of rental next year. Oh. Tiny houses. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yes, so we're going to be adding one, maybe two tiny houses to our fleet of rentals for 2020. So if our family wants to come in and experience a tiny house, then we have that experience for them too. Oh, that sounds like great fun. Yeah. Really. Speaking of getting around, you mm -hmm. have a new way to get around, don't you? We do. We've started renting some golf carts. Mm -hmm. um, it makes the ease of cars a little bit less, mm -hmm. and some of the guests then can see more of the park if they have some physical limitations and they'd like to see, you know, drive the hundred acres and see more of the park then it makes it easier for them. You have a huge dog park. We do. Two acre dog park. We are very pet friendly here. Tell me about the charity. The Jimmy Fund, yes. So um, back in 1983 my mother Doris had, um, when the campground was really starting, the, the recreation was really starting to boom, chose the Jimmy Fund as to be our charity of choice and so over the years we've run events such as um, ice cream socials, all our Halloweens, the hay rides, the haunted houses, uh, casino night, things like that, and all of the money that we generate, we donate to the Jimmy Fund. And we've raised over $380,000. Every weekend is themed. We have Superhero Weekend in the summer. We have Chocolate Sweets Weekend. We have um, Wellness Weekend, where we'll have um, yoga, Tai Chi. Um, we've got Spirit Weekend. Every oh, weekend that is. Like you, fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, you can come and do pick and choose every weekend, and there will be something entertaining and different. This time of year, especially, we'll get folks traveling across country that want to see the, the leaves and the foliage and things like that. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and you know, the leaves don't really turn until right after Columbus Day weekend. So right. the fact that you're open mm -hmm. gives them that opportunity to really see it at peak. Oh, and we have some beautiful foliage around the trees, too. Thank you. 
so much, Mash. You're welcome. I don't know what else I could say, but <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Oh, this is, this is just, uh, we really And my hands it. are cold. I need to warm oh, them up by yes, the fire. Beautiful, beautiful fire. Nice fall day. It is. We're going to have to check out your sweatshirts. <laughs>